Now we will see the fourth point. You can use this keyword to invoke current class method. So this is the program to demonstrate that this keyword invokes current class method. We have a class this demo. There is a method display. There is a method show. And we are writing main method in the same class. So the execution starts from the main method. The first statement here is this demo t1 equal to new this demo parenthesis. This is a constructor call. So when this statement is executed, object is created inside the memory. So suppose this is your stack, reference variable t1 is created on the stack and object is created on the heap. There are no instance variables in our program. So no instance variables are allocated inside the object. Object is not having any data. We haven't written the constructor in our class. Hence, in this case, compiler will include default constructor on your behalf. Next statement is we are giving a call to show method. So if you see show is a non-static method, we need to invoke it using an object. Hence, we are saying t1.show. So from your control of the program will go to the show method. See, if we want to call a non-static method from the static context, main method is static. If we want to call a non-static method from the main method, we need to call the method using an object. But if we want to call a non-static method from a non-static method, it is not mandatory to create an object. When the control comes inside the show method, the first statement over here is, call to display method. Display is a non-static method. We are not creating any new object to call display method. We are invoking display method using the current object, this. So this dot display will give a call to display method and from here, the control of the program will go to display method. Code inside display method will execute system.out.println inside display function this string will be printed to the output screen. Control will come back and next statement will execute. System.out.println inside show method. Inside show method will be printed to the output screen. Now in this whole scenario, the important thing we need to learn is we can give a call to a non-static method from a non-static method. That is show is a non-static method and display is a non-static method. So we can give a call to a non-static method from a non-static method using this keyword. And even though the programmer doesn't include this, you can only write display. You can write the code without this dot display. If you are not writing this dot display, compiler will include this keyword and invoke this method on the current object during the compilation. So if you want to avoid the compiler's task, it is a good practice to write this dot display. And the control comes back and program terminates.